Hey there! I am Peter, from Mexico, really appreciate EPC Land for giving me this opportunity to share another topic of process industry. Have you ever wondered how chemical industries regulate the flow of fluids through valves? Well, valves are the crucial components in chemical industries and we need them to regulate the flow of fluid. But, did you know that some valves are so crucial that changing their position without authorization can upset the whole process? This is where valve car seals come in. Valve car seals are simple devices designed to keep the valve in its open or closed position and keep unauthorized persons away. These seals are color-coded to distinguish what kind of seal is fitted on the valve. For instance, a red color indicates a closed valve and a green color indicates an open valve. Sealed valve operation can only take place by cutting the seal, which shows that someone has tried to tamper with the process. Now let's talk about the construction of valve car seals. The seal head is typically made of aluminum or zinc, while the cable is made of stainless steel because stainless steel offers great resistance to corrosion. Nowadays, plastic valve car seals are also available in the market. The cable is multi-threaded, so it doesn't break in an accident, and the length of the cable must be long enough to fit the largest valve in the industry. The usual length of the wire is around 1,000 mm, and the diameter of the cable is between 1.5 mm to 5 mm. Every valve car seal contains a unique identification number and a tag that has critical information. There are two types of valve car seals, self-locking car seals and breakaway key seals. Self-locking car seals are only one time usable, and to open them, we need to cut the cable. On the other hand, breakaway key seals can be released after the cable enters the body, and it is sealed after tightening the cable. The key will then turn on and jam the cable. So, how do valve car seals work? Well, to lock the valve, we need to lock the handwheel or lever of the valve. The cable of the valve car seal is fitted in such a way that it locks the lever or handwheel of the valve and is then entered into the seal body and fits inside it. The extra cable outside of the body is then cut down. Lastly, you must have come across the terms CSO and CSC on PNIDS many times. These terms indicate the position of the valve car seal. CSO indicates that the valve is locked by a car seal in an open condition, while CSC indicates that the valve is locked by a car seal in a closed condition. So, that's all about valve car seals. They are critical to the smooth operation of chemical industries, prevent accidents, and ensure safety. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.